important update coming with respect to the launch of Chandrayaan-3, uh, the mission that will take off on the 14th of July from Sri Harikota, ISRO. Uh, the Indian Space Research Organization has put out a tweet saying that Chandrayaan-3 mission, the launch rehearsal simulating the entire launch preparation and process lasting 24 hours has been concluded. So. The rehearsal or the dress rehearsal in the build-up to the big day three days from now has concluded on the part of ISRO. The mission uh, remains very much on track. This is going to be a landmark moment in the history of Indian space. And uh, Chandrayaan-3, which is a follow-on mission to Chandrayaan-2, is expected to take off on the 14th of July from Sri Harikota. It consists of a lander and rover configuration and uh, will be launched by the LVM-3 from uh, Sri Harikota. It's a propulsion module which will carry the lander and rover configuration till the 100 kilometer lunar orbit. Let me go across to Deepak Bopanna, who just yesterday had interviewed uh, the ISRO chief as well. Deepak, tell us about the dress rehearsal that ISRO has now conducted, which has concluded successfully. This is in the build-up to what will happen on the 14th. Well, Siddharth, like uh, you know, Mr. Somnath, the chairman of ISRO, was telling us, uh, this time, of course, they're uh, leaving no stone unturned to ensure that every process uh, is duly checked, double-checked, to ensure the success of this particular mission. Uh, now, multiple stages from the launch to the landing, everything, of course, uh, they want to rehearse, and uh, that's exactly what they have right now uh, done. The launch rehearsal has been uh, done, and it's a simulation, of course. Uh, now, we should note that uh, on the 14th is when the actual uh, launch is scheduled to take place. And more importantly, at this point in time, be it the lunar orbit incision phase, the moonbound uh, maneuvering phase, uh, even the PM and the lunar module separation, the deboost phase and multiple other phases is something that uh, they are one by one uh, you know, rehearsing for. On the 14th is when uh, we will, of course, look at uh, the actual launch that happens and uh, we are expecting people from across country uh, to land at Sri Harikota and also, of course, uh, monitor it on their television sets. And Deepak, we're, of course, waiting with bated breath uh, for, to, for the 14th of July, but another critical day in this particular mission is going to be sometime in August, is it not, uh, when the uh, landing will then be attempted uh, on the part of this mission? Yes, uh, that will be, of course, a very, very crucial phase. Now, we should understand this time, of course, the aim is to ensure that the soft landing uh, takes place as planned. Last time, uh, while, of course, the launch was successful, uh, most part of the mission, of course, uh, didn't have any sort of issues. It was towards the end, the soft Correct. landing phase uh, is when we did notice a little bit of a glitch and finally, of course, a failure. Uh, this time, like I mentioned, all, all of these things have been kept aside. Uh, people are focused on this particular mission. Preparations are on. And uh, the scientists at ISRO are saying we are very confident uh, that uh, they will be able to uh, do what is uh, intended this time as planned. Okay, Deepak, many thanks for those updates. Uh, that's the update coming from ISRO in the build-up to that all-crucial launch on the 14th of July. For the time being, we're slipping into a short break. We'll come back with more on the other side.